Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people hack the sh out of their hair, attempting to cut bangs. It's one of our favorite things to watch. There's something that never gets old. Watching somebody just destroy their hair by cutting some awful bangs. It's such an easy thing to f*** up, and most people do. First video is by now Nori. Hi guys, are you guys doing well? Because I'm not. Actually, Nori, this week I'm feeling very mentally stable, which is scary for me. So, actually, yeah, I am doing good. Thank you for asking. I'm gonna do a TikTok-inspired hair makeover, because why not? I'm gonna do bangs, like more full bangs and blonde streaks. Oh, this will be fun, but is she gonna do it right? Of course, that's the question we're all wondering. And my gut tells me no. This is not my first rodeo doing bangs. It's not even my second or third. This is my fourth. She looks very familiar. Have I watched one of her videos before? You guys will have to let me know. Let's see. My hair is really messy. I don't really care if I mess up. I know I'm really bad at cutting my own bangs. Who's gonna judge me? I will judge you, but... Fuck it, it's hair. You know, it grows back, who cares? What is wrong with my hairline? What is wrong with my scalp? Okay, hold on. Before we cut that piece of hair, that is a lot, a lot of hair she's about to cut. She is taking it from all the way back here, baby. She is not playing any games with us, is she? She is ready to do a full ass mother fringe like she is ready to do it maybe a really full fringe will look cute on her what do i know i think a full fringe is better than having like three strands of hair that is for sure but i also like something in the middle something that's not too full not too thin sometimes it gets a little too thick and it's looking very circa 2005 i don't know oh! <laughs> it's not exactly straight <laughs> She went for it. That was quick. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to happen that quick. Do you know what I mean? Do I want thicker than this? No. Absolutely not. Something tells me that she is definitely going to go thicker though, because we can never just stop and put the scissors down and walk the f away. When you're cutting your own bangs, like put your head forward and look at how your hair naturally falls forward. Take that bit of hair that's falling forward in this sort of region and cut that much. Don't cut too much of it. Don't cut too far back and don't cut too little. What will happen if you cut too far back is this hair that you cut all the way back here will sort of fall over to the side and you'll have like a mushroom cut. I don't know if you guys want that. I don't know if that's something you're going for, which mushroom cuts are cool and all, but like, I don't know. I think that's not what you're going for. Yeah, I'm gonna go for thicker. I can't see. Oh, why are you taking the hair? Why did you do that? Why did we just make a staircase on your head? Mildly confused, but intrigued. And oh my God, those bangs go so far back. I just don't know if this is gonna compliment your face shape. Like, I just don't know if this is gonna look right. Actually, I know it's not gonna look right. Uh, I don't know. You guys always shock me, so we'll see. I went too far. Look how far back this is. Jesus Christ. Okay, so what are we doing to fix this? Where are we gonna go from here? Is it gonna get worse or is it gonna get better? Oh! I thought we were doing a front bang, not a curtain bang. Mildly confused at this point. Let's just cut it, whatever. I don't know. Oh! Something you never want to do when you're cutting your bangs is pull it really tight down and then cut. Because hair has spring in it, it goes spring right back up and you'll end up with something really crazy. Something really way too short. Well... Did she just cut more hair? <laughs> Girl, you're wild. This might be possibly the worst out of all the bangs I've done before. Those are really bad. I'm sorry, does that mean? I promise I don't try to do it bad. This was just gonna be like a TikTok makeover. At this point, what we have to do is bring them slightly shorter. We need to add layering in that bang. Need to do some point cutting, some thinning, like all the things. Your hair is so thick and bulky right now. You need a little bit of wispiness on those ends to make it look a little bit more modern and lived in and cool. Right now, it's looking chunky. Oh my God. It looks like my head is like 3D popping out of the rest of my head. I shouldn't have added more. 
<laughs> I am never going to emotionally recover from this. This is my hair. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, it's not that bad. And I'm gonna be like, but it's not that good. I've officially realized that after four times of trying to have bangs, I just look better without bangs, so. I am not obsessed with them. They are not the worst thing ever, but I'm definitely not obsessed. I'm gonna just dye or bleach the sides right here like strips of blonde That's what I'm going for but I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna have to bleach it like at least three times She ended up lightening and bleaching the sides of her head. Do you guys want to see what that looks like? This was the finished result. It honestly is probably the ugliest hairstyle I've ever had in my life The bangs really dirty me dirty. It looks like a little broom at the end I honestly don't know why I went outside looking like this and I dyed it pink which I think it looks a little bit better Why do I like it now though? What the heck? Hell, man. The yellowy bleached sides e-girl thing made it all come together for me. Like, I love the darker fringe that is like a little bit too wide over top of the blonde. Like, it just looks like you really like tried to make this moment and it became a moment for me at least. Like, that's what it's giving. And I actually love it. I feel like it's kind of like original and cool. Good job, I guess. I mean, no, it was bad. So bad job. <laughs> Up next, we have a video by Ella Watkins. Well, there comes a point in everyone's life when you just look in the mirror and you think, wow, there really is no cure for ugly. But I mean, the good thing about this is that it can only go uphill from here. Which brings me to the topic of today's video, bangs. We're gonna be cutting them. Uh, I'm scared. I'm usually always scared, but right now I'm a little bit more scared because her hair is so pretty. I don't know. Like, I think she would look great with bangs, but I feel like she's probably not gonna do them right. So are we just gonna ruin this gorgeous hair i don't know so the thing is i haven't watched a single how-to video but i've watched plenty of i cut my own bangs fail videos so while i don't know what to do i know what not to do and i think that's almost more important we go with that that might uh, we'll see. That's a different technique. I haven't heard of that one yet, so we will see. We've all heard of the infamous bowl cut. And what is a bowl cut? A 360 degree fringe. And what is a fringe? An approximately 70 degree bowl cut. It's gonna be like drawing with a stencil. So the first thing we need to do is we need to grab the potential fringe. I have a mirror here, by the way. So from what I've heard is you have to make a triangle. Wait, my part isn't, my part isn't straight. It'll do. So, from what I've heard, is you have to make a triangle of hair. I mean, of- Ah! Oh, this is like the short bit of my hair anyway. That's handy. I'm not picking my nose, I'm just scratching it. Holy sh! This is already so hectic and we haven't even cut anything yet. Whoa! That's like a big triangle. I don't feel like anyone else's triangles were that big. Okay, these triangles are not even- No, we need to- Backtrack. We've got this. I am afraid. Part of me is concerned that the only reason I want bangs is so that when someone asks me how I am, I can say, BANG! How am I supposed to see the triangle when I can't see anything because of the bangs? That's pretty strange. Oh, I'm happy with that one. Now we just gotta match that. Symmetry. The parting with the pen, it never gets old. It never Never gets old for me. I think I'm gonna do a, a world tour where I just give out combs because the world lacks combs. We're lacking a comb. Everybody with hair should just own a comb. They're a great useful tool. It's a great thing to have. Is that straight? Mm, that's really not straight, is it? That's not straight at all. Look at that technique. Look at that technique. Okay, I'm glad we're straightening the hair before we then go cut it. You guys know how important important it is by now to have the hair either be wet or perfectly straight before you cut it, unless you're gonna always wear it curly. That's the only exception. Style it exactly how you want it to lay. Oh my God! I don't know what, no, I can do it. Oh, hold on. What the fuck is on your head? Is that a bowl? Why are we putting a bowl on the head is my question here. Why? Because those bowls I was just talking about, yeah. I grew them. The scissors we are going to be using are my kitchen scissors. Oh no. Okay, it would appear that our scissors have gone inside out. Oh no! Well that's promising. Anyway, these are my kitchen scissors. <laughs> We're cutting with a bowl and kitchen scissors that don't even like close properly. <laughs> this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. Oh my god! Okay, these scissors are blunt. Oh no! <laughs> But it didn't cut in a straight line. And that was me trying to cut in a straight line. I don't think even a bowl can save me. I can already see what it's gonna look like. I thought it was gonna be bad, but I honestly didn't think it was gonna look this bad. These bangs are not 
Bang it! Okay, well, we need to go a lot shorter for this to all come together. Because right now, it is way, way, way too damn long. Ah! It's when they start cutting over the fingers that I get really scared. It's like when you pull it and you go, that is the moment. You know, they're about to lift their fingers off their hair and it's about to go, boop! right way back up. Always cut below the fingers, guys. I know it's hard sometimes, especially with really dull scissors, so I recommend using real scissors that actually work. Give this video a like if you want her to stop now. I don't know how to cut in a straight line. We need, we need, we need, we need hairstylers. We need a straightener. <gasps> I, oh my God, the straightener's still on. The straightener's been on all that time. I'm gonna do that, like, I don't know. Ah! Um, oh. My bangs are already trying to kill me. Wow, this is the new me. This is how things are from now on. Oh, that's not even cutting the pieces of hair that I want it to be cutting. Actually, to be honest with you, it's starting to come together. I don't know how we're doing it, but it's starting to come together. My question is, what is that one long chunk that's just still there and is not going anywhere? There's no use for it. Are we cutting it or are we not cutting it? Are we leaving that there? Is that a style preference? I don't know. Oh no. I feel like this was supposed to be long. This was like hair that I shouldn't have cut. I can't even see what I'm doing, honestly. I feel like I should have left the bangs a little bit long. Honestly, bangers and mash have never looked so unappetizing. I feel like I really could have benefited from a pair of functioning scissors. I really feel like that could have actually benefited me in this situation and yet here I am not functioning. Oh, this is a new way to cut it. Yeah. How do we- can you see this? I'm not even cutting hair at this point. <gasps> Wait, how did that make it so much worse? Okay, if she was actually cutting hair right now, that would be a great technique to use. Lifting the hair up and point cutting into the hair, amazing. It's gonna give you really subtle sort of internal layering and thinning because you're over directing upwards. When you let it back down, you're gonna have shorter pieces kind of inside, outside, everywhere. And it's gonna give you a nice like wispiness on the ends. Anyway, I can't just leave it hanging on my forehead, collecting toxins when I work out. I mean, it's a, it's a good excuse as any to just never work out again. I wish my face curtain would just... Where does the fringe end and the brows begin? Don't need no eyebrows on fleek when you apparently don't have any. Well, um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this video to go badly. No, uh, let me rephrase. I, I was expecting this video to go badly, but I wasn't expecting it to go this badly. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go emotionally eat now. Wait, you guys need a close up. Oh. Wait, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, okay, there we go. I regret everything. I regret everything. There's hair all over my bed. There's not enough hair on my head. Well, you are a great help. I actually don't hate them. They're actually kind of cute on you. But um, they could be a lot better. And uh, let's probably watch a video on how to actually do it next time. And maybe not just the fails. Probably be a good idea for you. But great job, nevertheless. Well, what a disaster. <laughs> I hope you guys get better at cutting your bangs and obtain a comb at some point in your lives. And also maybe some hair cutting scissors. That would be good too. That's all I want in life. If you guys like some great hair, some great hair color, your boy has a hair care line and a hair color line. It's called X Mondo. Duh, we all know this. It's linked right here. You can check us out on Instagram to get some hair inspo. Also, you can shop with the link below or go to xmondohair.com. If you'd like to watch some more videos of mine, here we go. They're right here. Check it out. Click the subscribe. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.